Hi, it's Miss House. I wanted to give you an example of factoring a trinomial when you have some subtraction or minus signs involved. So, so our example is 6x squared plus 7x minus 20. So we've talked about how to use the AC method and the first thing we said is you have to check the terms for a greatest common factor. Since 6 and 7 and 20 have no factors, common factors other than 1, we're ready to use the AC method. So my A is 6, my B is 7, and my C is negative 20. So I start out by multiplying A times C, that's going to be 6 times negative 20, so that's negative 120. Now since AC is negative, we're going to have to have one positive number and one negative number in order for it to multiply for negative. And remember what we're looking for, we're looking for the factors of AC that add up to B, which is 7. So I'm going to start listing my factors of negative 120. Negative 1 times 120. And I want you to start with the smallest one. If you don't, you will inevitably miss the pair that you need. Negative 2 times 60. Negative 3 times 40. And remember what I'm doing. I'm adding these in my head as I go. 119, 58, 37. But I'm trying to get to this 7, and I'm not there yet. Negative 4 times 30. That's 26. Negative 5 times 24. I'm at 19, so it's getting lower and lower, but I'm not there yet. Negative 6 times 20, I'm now at 14. Let's see, 7 won't go, negative 8 times 15. Now notice that this adds to the 7. So these are the numbers that I need. Now if this happened to be a negative 7, then we would need to just switch the signs on the 8 and the 15 and the numbers would still be the same. But that's a positive 7, and that's what I need. So now I'm going to split my B term into, remember what we got, negative 8 and positive 15 is what gave us the 7. That's our B, that's our AC. So I'm going to split the 7x into two terms. And I can put them in either order, but I'll just put them in the order that I found them. So I found minus 8x plus 15x minus 20. So I check for my GCF, no GCF. I multiply a times c, got negative 120. I'll list all those factors. Once I found the pair, I've got to split this apart into the two factors that we found over here. Now I factor by grouping. I group the first two and the last two, and I bring down the middle sign. So I take out a 2x, and that gives me a 3x minus 4, and I take out a 5, and that gives me 3x minus 4. So remember what we said, if you do it right, and there is actually a combination that works, these binomials will match. That tells you one of your factors, 3x minus 4 and 2x plus 5. Of course, you should check this by foiling, but if you have done these steps correctly, it's always going to work. 